Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Green's all old Cappy cleaned up. This is what happens when Cappy cleans up. It's like going to church when you're a kid. You don't want to really clean up and you're pissed off. Like when a dog has to take a bath or your mom came up to you and did that. <laughs> Special place in hell for mothers like that. Special place in hell. Uh, <clears throat> I like a clear test done on T. Boone Pickens, Curtis LeMay, and John McAfee. The YouTube video. Please send me your price. It takes in advance of your consideration. Scott. All right, Scott. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at T. Boone Pickens. I'm going to guess from Texas. I may have even done one on this. <coughs> T. Boone Pickens in Oklahoma. All right. Uh, still alive. He's an American business magnate and financier. Pickens chairs the hedge fund BP Capital Management. He is a well-known takeover operator and corporate raider in the 80s. As of November 2016, Pickens had a net worth of $500 million. Uh, I'm going to guess he's probably scored very well on the Clary test because you don't make that kind of money. Uh, having a silver spoon shoved up your ass. Born in Holdenville, Oklahoma, son of Gracie Mullinson and Thomas Boone Pickens. His father worked as an oil and mineral lamin rights leaser. During World War II, his mother ran the local office of P Price Administration, rationing gasoline. Uh, Pickens was the first child born via cesarean sec section in the history of the Holdenville Hospital. At age 12, Pickens delivered newspapers. He quickly expanded his paper route from 28 to 156. Uh, Pickens' family moved to Amarillo because of the oil boom ending. Okay, so his old man, I, it doesn't sound like he came from money. He was already working at 12, so he has real world working experience. Attended on a basketball scholarship, but he lost that scholarship and transferred to Oklahoma A&M, now Oklahoma State University, where he majored in geology. No worthless degree there. And this is, I would have even forgiven him because he's 90 years old back in the day. That, you know, any degree was a good degree. Uh, Pickens was employed by Phillips Petroleum. He worked until 1954, 1956, following his period as a wildcatter. Founded a company later to become a Mesa Petroleum. For an oil who drills wildcat wells, which are exploration wells drilled in areas not known to be oil fields. All he went out there hoping for oil. By 1981, Mesa had grown into one of the largest independent oil companies in the world. Takeovers, 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 natural gas. He made contributions. He didn't run for office, it doesn't seem. No, he wrote. Swift Boat Challenge, Lobbying, Philanthropy. Donations to Oklahoma State University. Oh, see, he probably is financing a bunch of leftists. But about humanitarian contributions. What a jerk. All those evil corporate raiders donating to universities and nonprofits and pickets plan, da da da. Okay, um. <clears throat> One guy's been married a lot. I'm just going through all the marriages. Uh, he's still. I still run his hedge fund. Plus, the guy's 90. He can retire. Uh, we got a perfect score right here. Real world working experience, stunning at 12. Uh, and, and going on through the rest of his life. He probably still, yeah, chairman of BP Capital Management, so he's still working. Uh, didn't major in anything stupid. Majored in something quite worthwhile, geology. Um, what else? Did not come from money. And to this day is working. I mean, that, perfect. Would I like to have a beer with him? Yes, I would. Should he run for public office? He absolutely should, but he's probably too busy making money and does a lot better for the world, employing people and donating to these charities and any politician ever could. All right, next one. Curtis LeMay. Are you guys trying to guess if these guys are all? Because we've been getting a lot of perfect scores here. LeMay. Uh, 
It does not look like a man you want to piss off. <clears throat> ah, Courtesy LeMay was a general of the United States Air Force and vice presidential running mate of the American Independent Party candidate George Walsh in the 1968 presidential election. LeMay is credited with designing and implementing an effective but also controversial systematic strategic bombing campaign in the Pacific Theater of World War II. We won, didn't we? I mean, pretty conclusively. Served as the Chief of Staff from 61 to 65, joined the United States Air Corps while studying civil engineering at Ohio State University. So, no stupid degree and real-world working experience. Uh, China Burma Theater, SAC, retired in 65. So he was in his later 50s. Agreed to serve as pro-segregation Governor George Walsh's running mate in 68 presidential election. Took in 13% of the popular vote. He was a liability. He retired in his Newport Beach, California, in 1990. All right. Born in Columbus, Ohio, was of English. I don't care where you come from. His father was at times an iron worker and general handyman, but he never held a job longer than a few months. His mother, Arizona Dove, really? Did her best to hold her family together. With very limited income, his family moved around the country as his father looked for work going as far as Montana and California. Eventually, they returned to the city of Columbus. All right, so he didn't come from wealth. He majored in engineering, had real-world working experience, and then retired with his military pension. Perfect score again. Would I like to have a, a beer with him? Yes. Should he run for public office? Yeah, with the segregation thing. I, that that kind of goes... I mean, it, he has the right to... I don't know if he should. Probably would be better than most people running. And, you know, we could say that about a lot of people. I know everyone hates Trump, but the reason Trump is so successful, no matter how much you hate him or what you think about the man, he's still better than your average politician because simply he's not. I mean, politicians are worse than the devil himself. They're, they're horrible. They're despicable people. I mean, I have a, a crazy guy mouthing off on Twitter saying stupid shit. So the standards are very, very, very low as to whether you're on for public office. And John McAfee, is this the guy that came up with McAfee his software? John McAfee. Yeah, this is the guy. He yeah, has like tax trouble. Born September 1945, American British computer programmer and businessman. He founded a software company, McAfee Associates, in 87. So he was 43 at the time, ran until 1994 when he resigned from the company. First antivirus software, bada ba bada ba. He's also a political activist saw, who saw the Libertarian Party nomination for President of the United States in 2016, losing to former Governor Gary Johnson. McAfee also has interest in smartphone apps, cryptocurrency, yoga, and all natural antibiotics. He seems kind of hippy dippy. He, he's got that look to him. He resided for a number of years in Belize, but after being suspect of ordering the murder of his neighbor, Greg Fall, he left Belize for Guatemala and later returned to the United States in 2013. Okay. <clears throat> Born in the forest of Dean Glockshire, United Kingdom. And a U.S. Army base to an American father who was stationed there and a British mother and raised in Salem, Virginia. He received a bachelor's degree in mathematics and uh, from Roanoke University College. Okay, so no worthless degree. Doesn't sound like his dad came from any kind of wealth. Uh, it sounds like an army brat. <clears throat> uh, born 45. Oh, that was World War II. They don't even say anything. Like, does he even know who folks is? Just going through. God Almighty, it may have been one of those things where he was a orphan. They would have mentioned that in here. Okay. Before McAfee, McAfee was employed as a programmer by NASA's Institute for Space Studies in New York City from 1968 to 70. So he was 45, was 23. He went right to work pretty much. From there, he went to Univac as a software engineer and later to Xerox as an operating system architect, 19th century computer sciences corporation, software because he worked for consulting. 8082, 80, 80, 80, employed by Lockheed. Uh, received a copy of the brain computer virus and began developing a software to combat viruses in 1987. Okay, after McAfee, other business ventures. 
global crisis, and resented uh, Interviewed in Belize, part of investment management, he was unsold. Started a company, Quorum X, headquartered in Belize, antibiotics. Started another company, another company. Has found close consumers. <laughs> At DEF CON conference in Las Vegas, Nevada in August of 2014, he warned Americans not to use smartphones, suggesting apps are used to spy on clueless consumers who do not read privacy user agreements. <laughs> Went out on a limb there, did you? Did you, John? Uh, investing, investing, stepped down as CEO. Okay, and then there's the, the crisis of him maybe murdering his... Uh, I thought he ran into tax trouble. But I guess with all the losses and the... Dot com, not the dot com crash, the housing crash. Uh, looks to be another solid uh, zero, which is the perfect score. Uh, did not come from wealth, did not major in stupid shit. Has been working his entire life and has real world working experience. Um, yeah, I like, I, you know, and what, what involvement in politics he has had has been very minimal. He, you know, you, you can run for politics, still get a perfect score. It's when you, you're like, you know, John fucking McCain. And, after the military, yeah, I want to be a senator forever. Like, die. Oh, you did. Good. All right, that's it. Per four perfect scores. Would I have a beer with him? Yes. Should he run for office? Yes, he absolutely should. Um, because he has the entrepreneurial spirit. I would trust this guy. Plus, he ran for the Libertarian Party. So his and my politics aligned. Um, and that's the only people who should run for politics is people who agree with me. <laughs> See, I get that's a joke. The liberals, they can't because they... Oh, he's a tyrant. He's a tyrant. All right, we'll see you guys all later. Toodles.